Thank you for joining the Agilastic community. Today we're going to learn how to create a math essay question. This is a really great question type when testing your students' understanding of mathematical concepts and answering mathematical questions. From your dashboard, start by clicking the big E on the top left-hand corner to expand your sidebar. You can then move down to library, clicking item bank. From here, you want to move to the top right-hand corner, selecting new item, and you can choose math from the list of categories on the side. You can then click on math essay. Our free account holders will notice a couple of features along the side, and these directly align with the sections of the question type you have to fill out. Our premium account holders may also notice enable power user. When you click on this, it brings you right to your profile and you'll see power user listed along the bottom. You can go ahead and toggle this on and it will give you access to a couple of additional features when authoring this question type. To return back to Math Essay, you will now see them listed on the left-hand side. You want to start by entering in your question in the text box. I'm asking my students how to solve a linear equation and you'll see that question pop up in preview mode. You can then set your scoring. You can either set the max amount of points for this question or enter a rubric. If you have a rubric ready to go, you can click to use it and you'll see it pop up here. The list of points will also change to the max score that the rubric allows. You can then move down to the display and make sure that it's set to your liking. You can adjust the height as well as the font size, and this can be really helpful if teachers have any students with visual needs. Then you can move down and set whether or not the toolbar is available. Now, if you look in preview mode, you will see the toolbar listed at the top left-hand corner of the answer box. This provides additional symbols, um, formatting, and numbers for your students to use when answering a question. If you would like it toggled off, you can click the toolbar here and you will see it is no longer shaded in blue and it will no longer appear for your students. Lastly, you can set the solutions. You can set reasoning for why your student may have answered incorrectly, an explanation of the correct answer, and hints. You can then move into preview mode and make sure the question appears the way you'd like it to and pop into metadata to add any additional standards to this question. To add those standards, you can click on this dropdown, selecting your subject, standard set, and grade level. You can then click Browse, and the standards will pop up for you to go through. Once you've selected all that apply, you can click Apply, and they will populate in this box here. You are then ready to go to the top right-hand corner and click Publish.